Clackamas County employee has been arrested, accused of spray painting a swastika on a memorial in Oregon City. The memorial was for Jermel Madison, who recently died at the Clackamas County Jail. Christelle Kumwe spoke to one of Madison's friends. I mean, he could light up an entire room just by walking in it and smiling. Keisha Clayton remembers her friend Jermel Madison. I want everybody to remember that this young man was going through a lot at the time. The 23-year-old was arrested on June 20th. Clayton says his father's death weeks before triggered a mental health crisis and the family had contacted the jail. So they had called and called and said, hey, please, please look out for his mental health. Um, he's not in the correct mind state after losing his father. Um, we just want to make sure he's safe. About a week after his arrest, Jermel was found unresponsive in his cell at the Clackamas County Jail. He was taken to the hospital and died on July 3rd. Was just in shock. We don't understand why he was not monitored. Friends and family wanted to bring awareness and remember Jamel Madison. So on August 6th, they gathered here at this corner right down the street from the jail for a vigil and memorial. A few days later, they got some shocking news. I shook all night because I was so upset um, and so hurt that they would do that to Mel's memorial. Police say Tuesday someone knocked over candles, broke picture frames, and spray painted a swastika at the memorial. Investigators found social media posts with this video of the damage being done. They identified the suspect as 20-year-old Colin Williams, an employee of the Clackamas County Surveyor's Office. We're shocked that it's somebody that worked for the county. We're shocked at how they presented it to the public. Seeing that video I mean, it absolutely destroyed me, so I can't imagine what it did to the family. Williams was arrested and charged with criminal mischief, abuse of a memorial, and a biased crime. Police say he admitted to being responsible for the vandalism. The county released a statement saying in part, quote, The crime charge against one of our employees does not reflect the values of the county and our employees. And it's so, so unfortunate and disappointing that it was a worker from the county. But she wants to bring the focus back on her friend Mel and raise questions about how people in crisis are treated in jail. The only thing we can do moving forward and what Mel would want is for us to try and make everybody aware and prevent it from happening further. Christel